Hey there everyone, this is Weasel, and I am here with a computer craft video. Woo! Yay! Alright, so, I have been gone for quite a while. More than a while. Just too long. I haven't made any videos, and the reason for that is just because I haven't been, I haven't had any inspiration to do so, just, I haven't had any ideas of what to record. So, I've just been playing League of Legends, is pretty much it, so... I didn't want to record it because I don't. As fun it is, it as fun it is to play. I don't find it that interesting to watch. <laughs> That's just me. So I decided not to record it. And plus, on my on the machine that I was playing on and recording in the past, um, it doesn't really record League of Legends all that well. So. I decided not to do that because recording did actually affect my gameplay and my just it made me perform worse so I said nah anyway I am here today it's the start of a year I built myself a new PC this Christmas so let's start off by making a video and it's going to be on computer craft how to make clickable buttons a menu, if you will. Just not, whatever you want to use it as. It's going to be clickable buttons. That's all there is to know. I'm going to go through the whole process. So, you will need an advanced computer. It is required. You cannot use a basic computer. Um, oh, it's a monitor. What am I doing? <laughs> computer. Okay. Alright, so, let's go ahead and start. Before we actually make the program, I'm going to have to make some sort of back wall. And I'll show you why, but you may want to follow along. This isn't required by any means, but this is just what I like to do. I'm going to go ahead and color this white. I will fast forward this, so don't you worry. Alright, I am done with that. This is our back wall, and there is something that we are going to need to do with that back wall, and I will show you what it is and why, but first we need to make our program. I'm just going to call it menu, and I am going to get our image drawn. So, first we need to load it, so paintutils.load image back wall. Now we got to draw it, so paintutils. Draw image. Oh, I need to make a variable. Image equals. There you go. Image one one. So it'll draw it in the corner. So let's do that. Uh, let's go ahead and run it normally. There we go. So as you can see, it kind of gets cut off on the right and the bottom, and that is because it didn't really get cut off. That's because the the bar on the right where there's the colors to choose from and on the bottom the menu the control menu covers it up so you can't color there which is a big design flaw on their part so that's annoying the biggest the only real solution to this is to edit back wall and to put in the numbers yourself which isn't that hard just go ahead and put two more zeros or whatever you used at the end And draw two more rows of zeros. And there we go. Problem solved. I'm going to edit menu. Uh, to show that it did fix, I'm going to go ahead and set my cursor position at the starting spot. And run it. And you'll see that there's no more black. The reason why there's black right here is it's, that's where the cursor is, obviously. So I'm going to clear it, edit menu, now I can get started. So all of this will be in I, I, it will be in a function, and I'm just going to call it draw menu. You can call it whatever you want. And we need to end that. There we go. 
So, draw menu. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say now, because I forgot to say in the beginning. I I just wanna get this straight. I am not teaching Lua or like computer craft the computer craft Lua itself. I'm just teaching how to make the program. So you should have a basic understanding of Lua and just general programming terms like string, variable, stuff like that. You should know what I'm talking about. I'm just showing you how to make programs. If you know like the basics of the language but don't know what to do with it. Which that is that's you're welcome here no no matter what skill level you are I'm just recommending that you know a little bit of Lua before you do this because I'm not going to explain everything I will explain what some things do in regards to the program but I won't explain what it does for everything like if I was teaching Lua so yeah just to get that out of the way we're gonna need to set some variables so this is how I do it when I make buttons Obviously, there are other ways out there to do it, but this is mine. I'm going to go ahead and set x, or local x, y equals local x2, y2 equals local x3, y3 equals local choice, oops, 1 equals local, wow, I butchered that, local choice 2 equals local choice 3 equals now these will be strings and these will be integers now what I'm doing is I am sitting with these top three I'm setting the coordinates of where I'm going to start the button the X and Y so we're gonna need two integers I'm gonna go ahead and make it uh, 2 4 then 2 6 and 2 8 those will be the coordinates and then for the what the text will say in the button will be this and it looks better to make it to space it so that it just looks better and I'm gonna make this left right oops, middle and I like spacing these out to the same to the same to look the same. Not, not, I, I don't know how to explain that. It's just preferences. You can do whatever you want. That's just how I do it. So, there you go. Actually, just for the sake of this, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So, there it is. We got our variables ready to go. Now we need to draw the buttons to the screen. So, I'm going to go ahead and set the cursor position to these coordinates. I'm going to make the background color of the button black, so term dot set background color colors dot black. And I'm going to set text color to like a light blue. And it's 8. That's the color code for it. I know a couple of them, that's, so I just put it there. And then we need to write it. Choice one. There we go. Now just repeat for all of them. I'm going to use the same col background color and text color for all of them, so there's no need to type those again. Term dot set cursor position x one y or x two y two. Uh, and write choice two should be it yeah and then term dot set cursor pos x3 y3 right choice 3 I don't know how loud this keyboard is on your end I this is the first time using the setup so hopefully it's not too bad but next video if it is next video I'll fix it don't worry about that but I hope it's not really loud all right so we have drawn our menu. Uh, it won't show up because I haven't called the function, so let's just do that real fast. Save it, and let's run menu. Uh oh. We done messed up. Oh, that's a period. We don't want a period. There we, there we go. And it shows that because that's where the cursor is. Woo! There's our buttons. The reason why I named it that is because 
I am going to make the button work based on what mouse button you click. So the left one will only work if you use the left button. The right one will only work if you use the right button. And then the middle one will be only if you press the mouse wheel or the middle button or whatever you have. Just to show that you can. So now that we have that, time to do the fun part. And that is to program the buttons themselves. So we will need a loop. And inside the loop, we need to pull an event. Local event button. I'm going to make a CX. No. Yeah, CX. CY. Equal OS dot pull event. So you can make those. And these are all variables. These four. You can make these whatever you want. Just make sure they're different than the variables we set on top. Otherwise, it won't work. Now they have that. This basically what this does is it's going to keep track of every event we do, whether that's press a key, press the mouse, move the mouse, input redstone, anything. And now this next line I'm going to type if event equals mouse click. This is going to make it so if the event that happened is indeed a click of the mouse, then it's going to do this. And now we're going to actually define what the button is and what it's going to do when you click the button which if anything this is probably the hardest part it's just repetitive this whole thing it's not really hard you just, just gotta remember how to do this so I'm gonna go ahead and get started if um, sorry about that I had a little interruption I am back now where were we oh yeah Oof. All right, if CX is greater than or equal to X and CX is less than choice one, the length of choice one, and CY equals Y and button equals one, then, whew, that was a long line. <laughs> so that is the line that defines what the button is and what you click for it to work. Now, if the mouse click clicks in the parameters that we defined and this is going to happen and what I'm going to do is go ahead and term dot clear right act nah let's not do that pass 28 6 not pause. Term dot set cursor. I'm used to defining my own functions to reduce how much you type, so I didn't this time just so that everybody can be on the same page, so I'm kind of used to doing that. So set the cursor position there, and we will write left button clicked, and that is it. Every th and then you just repeat that for all of the other buttons and you're done. I'll go ahead and do that though. Else if CX greater than or equal to X and CX is less than choice two length I'm gonna go ahead and make this right. X two and CY equals Y two and button equals two then Term.set cursor pos 286 right right button clicked. Now for the last one, else if CX greater than or equal to, I'm gonna shut up. Not talking too much. There you go. And that is the whole thing. Now we just need to put in the ends. Let's end off this big if statement to make sure we have enough ends. 
gotta end off of this one. That ends off the loop. All right, should work. Menu. Uh oh, not enough ends. All right, let's see. One, two, three. We have three. So, what is? That? Did I forget a then? Nope. Oh, I had spaced out the else and if. There we go. Should be good to go. Alright, so we got our buttons. So if I click this one, it'll say left button click. If I click this one, it'll say right button clicked. If I left click it, nothing's happening. You can hear me clicking. If I right click this one, nothing happens. Now if I left click or right click this one, nothing happens. Whoa! Let's middle click it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get way too excited about that. But yeah, that is how you do mouse click events and how to make clickable buttons. Hope this helped. If it did help, please give it me a like. It'll help me in return. If you have any issues, feel free to leave it in the comments or you can just message me on YouTube and I will help. Yeah, no big deal. So yeah, see ya.